Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video on the Java Servlets and JSP series. This time I'm going to teach you about JSP declaration tags. All right, so, so far we learned about JSP expression tags. We just learned about JSP uh, scriptlet tags. We learned about JSP comments. And I believe that's it so far. And so what I'm going to teach you now is JSP declaration tags, which are pretty cool. So JSP declaration tags are actually very similar to scriptlet tags, except that declaration tags allow you to define both methods and uh, variables within the JSP file. So with scriptlet tags, you can only define a variable within the scriptlet. So let me show you an example. So let's open up, let's do an opening scriptlet tag. And then inside of that, we'll say, let's do a variable first. So we'll do integer, integer Bob is equal to 150. That's fine. We can do that. And we actually did that last episode, but let's say that we want to create a method that adds two numbers. So we can do integer add uh, integer number one, uh, integer number two, and that returns num one plus num two. As you can see, it's complaining here. Um, this is just not valid with any scriptlet tag. So a scriptlet tag can run Java code, but it cannot define uh, methods. It can define uh, variables here, as you can see, but it cannot define methods. So uh, declaration tags are specific, specifically made for you to define both methods and variables. Um, so yeah, let's try that out. So instead of doing a scriptlet here, let's get rid of this. And so to do a declaration tag, you do angle bracket, percent sign, exclamation point, and then press enter and that puts the closing tag, which is just a percent sign and an angle bracket. And so in between those two uh, opening and closing tags, you can put any declarations that you want. So let's say that we want to do uh, two methods, one that adds two numbers and, uh, and then another method that subtracts two numbers. We can do that with a declaration. So we're declaring a method, right? So integer add and then integer num one, integer num two. And as you can see now, it's not complaining like it was doing a second ago with the scriptlet tag. This is perfectly valid within a declaration. And so let's add another method for subtracting. So su subtract integer num1, integer num2, and then return num1 minus num2, like that, okay? So no, no uh, complaints here by the IDE. Everything looks good so far, so let's try testing it out by uh, using our expression tags. So this time we'll do h3 and we'll say result of 34 plus five. And then we'll use the expression tag to call the method. So we'll do add and then pass in 34 as the first parameter parameter, and then five is the second parameter. And what that should do is evaluate the method and uh, output the result because it's returning the result, okay? Pretty simple, right? And then let's also try calling the uh, subtraction one. So result uh, 56 minus 18 and we'll call the expression tag again and we'll call subtract 56 minus 18 and that should evaluate that and display the result for us okay so let's try running this and see what happens all right so here's the results we get it says results let me zoom in for you it says result of 34 plus 5 is 39 and result of 56 minus 18 is 38 so perfect it works perfectly as we you would expect so yeah, that's a declaration tag. You can use it to define methods and uh, variables. Let's try another example. So let's uh, do this. Let's open up a new declaration here. So uh, angle bracket percent sign exclamation mark. There we go. And inside of this, let's do a few things. Let's make a few variables. Cody, let's do integer age is equal to 19. And then let's also have a method here that returns a string. Uh, how about we do string get favorite get favorite quote so it's just a simple method that returns my favorite quote and so we'll do return and escape that quotation we'll say communism communism is bad and then escape a second quote and we'll say abraham lincoln all right so there we go and so that's just going to be a simple method that returns communism communism is bad by abraham lincoln and then let's uh, show you the results of us testing that out. So to test these two uh, or these three things that we've just declared here, let's make an H3 and inside of it we'll say my name is, and we can use an expression tag here. My name is name, oops. Uh, my name is Cody and I am age years old. My favorite quote is and then we'll put the quote 
to uh, by calling the method, the method here. So get favorite quote, and there we go. So that should call the method and then display the results inside of the h3 tag for us. So let's rerun this and see what the result is. All right, here we go. So it says result of 34, same as before. And then we get down here, it says, my name is Cody and I am 19 years old, period. My favorite quote is, communism is bad, Abraham Lincoln, okay? And that's a totally legit quote, by the way. I did extensive research on this and he did indeed say that in the year 1954 when he was alive. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it for uh, declaration tags, JSP declaration tags. Uh, we have, we've got one more tag to learn about. Uh, next episode, we're going to be learning about, uh, what is it, directive tags, so JSP directive tags. And then from there, we're going to learn about the JSP standard tags. All right, so hopefully this was simple enough for you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can join our Discord server. You can ask questions there or just hang out with us. It's a cool little prog It's a cool little programming community, so feel free to join that. And also, I'll leave a link in the description below for the code for this episode, like I always do, so you can check it out and bookmark it for future use or just see what I did in more detail. And uh, yeah, besides that, if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video. You can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents, $10 or $5 a month, and you can cancel any time if you want to. And it comes with some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, just like this one here. Um, you get early access for a couple of days or even a week or more. Um, it just depends and then also you get a cool rank on my discord server so you can uh, show everyone how swaggy you are and Finally you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now So thanks to all of you guys for becoming members and supporting me. I really appreciate it And uh, thanks to everyone else who is watching my videos and liking my videos. I appreciate you too And that's it. So thank you very much. Have a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and peace